Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make an in-game menu system. <clears throat> okay, so first we need a separate room here. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and put a switch in. Just so we can trigger it. Use this one. On that. Allow reuse. Okay, we're done with that. Now we go in here. First, we need to set up our control option. Let's make sure we disable it too when we start up. tab. And this will enable it. Okay. Now let's say you want to use the D-pad when you use your menu system. Okay. Just go here. And we need to do an integer. And we're going to set this up one, two, three. Because we're going to have three different options to pick from. Put that over there. Get that out of the way. And we're going to use taunt two. Because if we go to the controller here, the taunts are your uh, D pad there. So we're going to use taunt two for right and taunt four for left. on that one. Taunt four. Let's place those so they don't move. Okay. So now that we got that, now we're going to get these box triggers up. These are just going to be references, by the way. We're going to integer compare. And it's true. This will be one. Equals that. We will make this red. When it's not equaled, then it'll make it white again. Copy that twice. Whoops, I don't want that. Okay. Of course, whenever one of these gets pushed, it'll test these so that it'll activate. So now we need to set up our options. Let's do a destiny thing here. Let's do um let's get up three different loadouts for three different characters, let's say. We'll make this our warlock loadout. So I'm just gonna say I'm gonna do that gun and that gun. Do a Tesla rocket. And for this. We'll do a Titan loadout for this one. So instead of a shotgun, we'll do the explosive shotgun and we'll do the Gatling gun. We'll give this guy a shield wall. We'll make this our hunter. And we'll give this guy a burst rifle. 
and the sniper rifle. And we'll give this guy the siphon grenade. Okay, so three different setups. Let's also put some text above them. So we know what they are. done yet we got to make sure that these things uh, don't activate when we're in the main game so we got to put only a filter on each of these there we go. and we set up set the boolean set the true right now it's set the false and we'll replace these oops nope, don't want to do that Place these with that. Okay. So that's all set up. Now we're going to get a camera so we can see these damn things. And let's use. Look at it. Yeah, it looks good enough. And then we'll take that custom event again. There we go. That's signaled. Enable the camera. Then we're going to take another button to use. We'll make it the jump button. We'll have to disable the camera. Yep, so it's the A button, and it will disable the control. And that should work. Let's brighten it up a little bit. Classic. I'll use the intro one. Okay. Now that's all set up, that should work. So now we push the button. Whoops, hold on. I messed up in something. I right, know I messed up in something. Ah, yes. That, and I forgot to change the values of these guys. While we're at, let's make this set to two so that way it sits in the middle. Oh, yeah, it's also make it through that. I spawn in, and I test. Actually, no, not when I spawn in. Uh, when this gets activated. There we go. Now that should work. Always forget about that part.
work. Now an ampush hit should work. Which one should I pick? Yeah, the warlock. And I've got the warlock setting now. Let's try again. Say I want the hunter setting. I got the hunter setting. Okay, and let's say I want the titan setting. And I got the titan setting. And there you go. That's how you get that to work. <clears throat> So you make a simple menu setup. And you know what? Let's try a different option. Let me show you something else. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. We won't be needing these anymore. In fact, I won't need the color things anymore either. We don't need any of this stuff. Okay. So let's say you want to do something different. Let's just say... Let's get rid of that. Let's just say you want to do something else. Change these up. Let's make these um uh, for one, which is the uh, X button, and we'll make this one crouch, which is the B button. So X, A, and B. So we're gonna make all these to disable the camera. We're going to shorten these. Get it back down to 64. 85 should be enough, I guess. And 90. Color these. Oops, wrong one. There we go. We're gonna make this one blue. Uh, let's make it a solid. There we go. So that we know what color it is. We're going to make this one green. Then we're gonna make this one red. Take this, move it down a little bit. Mark that as X. Oops. Forgot about that. And I forgot about that. Make this A. And make this B. Change the color of these two, by the way. Oops. Right. This one. It's green. And this one's going to be blue. Okay. Here's where it gets good. Have this. Give us our light out. visual reference, but we'll be needing that much longer. Let's get rid of that, forgot about that. And then of course all three of these will disable it. And 
That should work out just fine, so let's try it out. <coughs> Okay, so now when I push the button, it should bring up those three options, and I just push another button to get out of it. Okay, so I want to pick my character, so I push X for Warlock. Okay. I push B for Hunter. And then, of course, I push A for Titan. And there you go. That's how you can make an in-game menu screen. And again, hope you all found this very helpful. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And until then, you all take care.